Hello. This is a small introduction on GPU top, and at this very moment I'm running it with the text UI tab in which you can actually see all the different metrics running. And the main change that we did between the first version and then this one is that we we created a full new web UI. I'm just gonna run it and to activate the UI, we just append remote into the top with Shibashi. And it will create a, this web server in which you can actually access the UI. Let's launch a web server. Let's launch uh, a client. And confirm basic coin local host this new UI contains all the graphs uh, that we had before on the previous UI but there is a major difference. We are able to actually modify the the time scale in which we actually sample, and we are able to add lots of granularity and zoom levels into this graph. So you can actually uh, observe the all the different metrics in more detail. You can actually see here all the different metrics that we have and before it was not as dynamic you could not stop open queries you could not um, relaunch we at this very moment we included the per context mode in which it will just only monitor the current uh, application that we are running and uh, i'm just running glx gears because i'm also capturing this screen so it's way better if we actually don't have many things running while we do the all of this but um, you can capture pretty much any application the current work is on the PAD and the context mode so we can capture all the different processes which are running at this moment and we will be able to select them the list of processes appear here you can query for a process and see process one which is in it in it is that it's not an open gl application but you are, you will be able to actually capture metrics for that specific uh, process and one of the big changes is that we are able to display how the data is being calculated so you can click here see all the system metrics you can go and see all the graphs running and see some description on the data and some description on the counter you can see like that's the percentage of time in which vertex shaders were processed actively on the execution unit in one of the big changes that we also added a part of actually is giving more information to the developer and user uh, is a demo mode where we can show outside how the interface looks like and how it works. You can also load the different architectures. So click here, you will see the Haswell metrics, Skylake. When you, they are not active obviously because this is the demo version, but you can see all the information that we have on them and how the data is being normalized by showing the actual equation that it's happening yes, FS, ES. the future plans are to actually add a load session so the idea is we capture all these metrics into disk 
and we will be able to load them. Uh, we have uh, an installation help, but on the new version we just show go to the wiki in which we contain wiki GitHub, in which we contain a more detailed explanation about how to uh, install and run wiki adopt. Basically, that's it. I think one of the most important changes is, like, as I say, the granularity that we added. So right now, you can actually capture in highly, in a very high detail, you know, all the metrics. We are working on different types of captures by creating different aggregators that will capture the data and at different times. So you can actually measure very detailed with lots of granularity for a frame or just capture for the last second and being able just to play back the data. Thank you.